nothing in this box. I don't know what's going on. G'day guys, my name's Clinton and welcome back to Layla Central. I'm your average modeler and this is another monthly mailbox update. So with monthly mailbox, normally I, you know, open my boxes of any items that I've actually purchased and share it with you guys and, uh, you know, do a, a little brief basic review. And as you can see with this box, it is empty and there's a very good reason for that. I don't have anything coming in, uh, in a delivery and I'll explain why. So with Monthly Mailbox, I set myself essentially a small budget each month for me to purchase bits and pieces, whether it be, you know, rolling stock to a locomotive to uh, paints, anything related to the hobby, including timber. And, uh, and this month has been a little bit tight on budget, purely because I've had a lot of unforeseen things. I had someone ran uh, reverse into the side of the family car, so that needed to be fixed. Uh, my daughter's uh, not too well, so we've got a lot of unexpected bills coming in there from uh, doctors as well. Um, she'll be fine, of course, but uh, it just means that, you know, the budget uh, for this is uh, has been sacrificed or not really sacrificed. It's, uh, you know, it is uh, it is a hobby and, you know, I'll devote time to it. I've got plenty of other bits and pieces I can work on this. It just means, though, that this month the mailbox, as you can see, is empty. However... It's not a complete loss, as I do have something that I did purchase a few weeks ago, um, not delivered, which I will share with you guys. But first, I'll give you a bit of a backstory. So, with the layout itself, as you've seen with a lot of the videos that I've been filming, I mean, we're looking at the moment at an area called uh, Shilton, that will be. And it's very well lit. You know, the lighting when I put this shed in, had no idea how the lamp was going to look. I had no idea where I wanted my lighting. And at the time when I had the uh, spark in, you know, I got him to fit two nice big batten lights, as you can see up here, to light the room. And it generally does do quite a, jo a good job in lighting these areas, such as here, uh, around the country area. Um, and, you know, it's overall it's quite good. But one of the things that has frustrated me for some time is the shade that I've got in some parts. Now, to try and explain how this has actually occurred, as I mentioned, I got some lights fitted by some sparkies, which have done extremely well, way over further as well. Now, you know, ideally, if I knew where my bench work was going and things were happening, I would have maybe organized this a little bit differently. Um, so as you can see here, I've got this nice big unit with a light directly above it. So, you know, it's providing a lot of shade. Here, it's not so bad because the cabinet's not obscuring the light. It's coming on that angle. But as we go around to areas such as over here, which will be Brinklow, it is a little bit shady. Now, this looks quite lit at the moment, and that's because I've got my, uh, my curtains open. I've got some natural light coming in from the door. But this area here is quite dark in some cases, as you may have noticed with some of my filming. I, one, I don't do it a lot over here, but second of all, it's very shaded, and that's because when you see my cabinet right here, there's the line, you know, it's not reaching over here. That area over further, so down over here, is actually a bit more lit, one, because the door's open, but second of all, my batten light there is not obscured. So with this area here, if you haven't picked it just yet, yes, I've purchased a couple of lights that I'll be fitting to this area to lighten it up. So let me share what I've actually purchased. So on the topic of lighting, you know, what are your options? Well, obviously these batten sort of lights that I've got fitted to the roof, are what I would absolutely love to have. The obviously thing is, you know, they come with an extra expense. If you're not a qualified electrician, they could be quite expensive to get fitted. So the, uh, the option of having a sparky come in was not in the... Uh, it was not an option. It, w it just wasn't going to be happening. So I needed to find an option where I could put them in myself and get some good lighting. Now you can use LED lighting. You can use all sorts of uh, bits and pieces. And frankly, if my roof here directly above these lines was actually a bit more lower, I would actually use, say, some LED lighting. Now, I don't think I could get them strong enough to do it. So what I've ended up done is I had uh, some loose change left over from when I uh, sold some locomotives, rolling stock, other bits and pieces. A few weeks ago, I trotted down to my hardware store and took a look in their lighting section and I found exactly what I was after. And these are it. They are a batten light. Uh, so they're still a nice big fluoro. They can take an LED fluoro 
um, as well. Now the beauty of it is, as you can see, they're a nice big long bat and they're going to provide a lot of good light. For those that are interested in know their, their globes and statuses, you know, we've got this, uh, it's you know, over 3000 aluminum, so it's a cool light, I can get other globes. Um, but it's going to fit perfectly with my other existing lighting. It's, um, you know, it comes with a globe as well. And the other beauty of it is, as you can see here, it comes pre-wired with a plug, so I can plug it straight into the power outlet and yeah, away I go. I don't need a, a tradesperson, I don't need any special skills or licenses to get these fitted. So I've essentially bought two of these, one for each half of the layout uh, of uh, Brinkler here to light it all up and I'll just plug them into the PowerPoint and set them up and we'll see how they go. So these things obviously you know from the hardware store didn't get them delivered you know i just had them so um yeah so this is what monthly mailbox is going to be about this month it's about me putting these lights in um and taking a look at the effects before and after so what the plan is as you as i mentioned i'm going to put them in two halves so i'm going to put one light around this area here somewhere so it's not going to be directly above these actual lines i want that slightly offset so the rays themselves will come down at an angle and hit the sides of the locomotive quite well and the scenery when I'm actually doing my filming. So one's going to go on this half, the other one is going to come into this half right here. And um, and of course with the cords themselves, uh, I've got some extension legs that I bought to go with it. They're going to run from here straight down the corner and then down underneath. And one of the things that I did get done when I uh, did the Sparky here is I got power points fitted to every corner of the shed. So I certainly have enough power outlets which is great. So. So for another example, you know, I'm going to have the light above here, the cord's going to run to the corner, go straight down, and it'll go behind the scenery over here, etc. And then, you know, disappear below and be plugged in. So when I want to turn the lights on, I just flick a switch underneath and away we go. So, um, but yeah, I haven't gotten these out of the box yet, so we'll get them out and see. So there it is, that's, um, you know, it is a metal construction. It's, um, you know, nice and uh, thin, it's not too heavy as well. Um, now, as I mentioned, you know, it comes pre-wired with a nice plug ready to go. Now, for those that are uh, <clears throat> that are interested, now, as I mentioned, these weren't expensive. These were very cheap, and to be honest, um, yeah, yeah, I was absolutely tickled pink with it, actually, because each one of these units, including the Globe, cost me around about $26. Australian um, and like I mentioned I just used some change that I had left over from selling other items uh, to actually pay for these units so $26 including the globes it's pretty wide you know and that's you know to me that's really good value um, I've certainly got no problems with it um, you've got plenty of different mounting options on how you wish to fix it uh, or fit it to the roof areas of course um, and that's something I'll go through read the instructions and um, yeah, see how we go. So we'll get some photos of how it looks without the globes um, uh, fitted on this layer, and then I'll take some photos afterwards and then see how they look. Okay, here we are, back uh, after about 15, 20 minutes. So I've got these uh, two units currently screwed into the actual roof, and um, plenty of mounting options, wasn't too difficult. Um, also mounting in the plasterboard, so I used some particular plugs, etc. And uh, all quite good. So the next thing uh, I'll do is I'll actually put the covers on them, put the globes in, and just plug them in just to see if they're actually working. But I think I'll run uh, the cords directly behind here and uh, get them in ASAP. And the one thing I'm going to do as well is uh, I purchased these uh, pack of essentially cable clips, which are suitable for power leads. So they've got a bit more bigger size. Uh, a uh, hole for essentially to um, take the power leak. So I'm losing my words here. Just so then, uh, you know, with the roof, I've got the cables up nice and high and they're not going to dangle down and pose either a risk or uh, get in the way of any videoing as well. So I'll use those to tidy the cable up as well. Okay, so got both units plugged in. They're working at the moment and working quite good. Um, as you can see, this one is working quite well. The globe on this one over the distance over here, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a dead spot happening here, or a dark thing uh, actually occurring. So I'm going to let that run for a bit. Might just need to replace the globe, which is no big deal. But this one here is working quite good. And of course, the area in question that we were working with is now lit up so much more. Like this area here is so much more brighter. Um, that area there is not too bad. But as I mentioned, I think that globe just needs to warm up a little bit. 
but um, yeah, pretty good. And considering how it looked beforehand, this is still a vast improvement. Um, now, unfortunately, as you can see with my lead sitting way over here at the moment, um, one thing I didn't account for was I do have a gap in the back of me uh, boards over here however it was not big enough to accommodate the plug so I need to uh, adjust the bench work slightly over in that corner there cut a bit of a like a bit of a hole or something so I can slot the cord through um, this one here though of course you know it will run over to there now I haven't actually fixed the cord to the roof itself only because um, I need to grab a ladder and also I'm actually running out of time uh, a time of filming of this so that'll be something that I'll do uh, in the near future and tidier it up so the uh it's all looking a lot more better this globe here in the end as you can see now it's a bit hard to actually film the actual bulb itself looks like it's all completely glowing at one tangent now looking at it with my eyes these ends here are much more brighter and there's a little bit of a like a it's not fully and equally lit right across now as you can see with the light being emitted that is indeed the case as you can see here we've got a nice big bit of beam coming here goes into like a shadow and then it comes out here again so um, that globe I do need to look at so this area here on the other half of the layout it's still better lit um, it's a vast improvement over what it is however I will probably replace that globe um, or you know give it a chance to warm these are brand new globes um, as well so We'll wait and see but otherwise um, you know I think this whole area is going to be much more better lit now uh, better to look at better to do videos as well um, so there we go so thanks guys uh, that's this month's uh, monthly mailbox even though it wasn't an unboxing but uh, as I mentioned you know the finances have been a little bit uh, tighter this month uh, due to some other foreseen circumstances so um, all in due course we will return to normal with monthly mailbox I would imagine um, I do have some items I do need to sell off uh, still, so I might uh, get onto those a bit more sooner to free up some funds to continue my monthly mailbox segment anyway. But, um, but otherwise, thanks guys, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye for now.